Hey guys, HMK here once again with another Kingdom Hearts video. And this is going to be an expansion to my other sleeper hit, 5 Kingdom Hearts Misconceptions. Since that video did so well and you loved it so much and you guys learned a lot from it, I'm going to release 5 more misconceptions on Kingdom Hearts. Now these misconceptions are more personal based from what I've seen on YouTube comments and forum posts that I really need to put to rest. And I've done the research and I'm bringing all this new information, well not really new information, but facts directly to you so we can put these misconceptions to rest. Now once again, none of these are really ordered, they're just 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, they're just random. So they have no really specific order or hierarchy, so these are just 5 more common misconceptions that I've seen from forums and YouTube posts. So, are you guys ready to learn about Kingdom Hearts some more once again? So let's get into it with number 5. You don't acquire multiple Keyblades in the games. Now many of you should already know this, but there was some confusion after Kingdom Hearts 2. Now Sora does not, in fact, acquire more than one different Keyblade throughout his adventures, such as the Kingdom Key, Jungle King, Oblivion, etc, etc. He still only has two Keyblades that he's able to use in his possession. In the games, you acquire keychains that transform your Keyblade when you switch the attachment. So whenever you see him get a new Keyblade, he's really just getting a new little keychain. Young Xehanort isn't Terra Xehanort or Apprentice Xehanort. Now this one really bothers me. Somewhere, somehow, some idiot decides to spread the bullshit that Young Xehanort is Terra Xehanort or Apprentice Xehanort. But no. If I must spell it out for you, here we go. Young Xehanort is Master Xehanort in his teenage years, which was a while ago. Given the power of time travel from Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, to collect versions of himself for Master Xehanort in the present day. Terra Xehanort is Xehanort that just entered Terra's body and assumed control at the end of Birth by Sleep. And Apprentice Xehanort is simply Terra Xehanort that lost his memories and grew between the gap after becoming Terra Xehanort and before splitting into Ansem and Xemnas. <sighs> Aqua did not perform the Keyblade Inheritance Ceremony on Sora. Now this one kinda bothers me too. Many people believe that Aqua performed the Inheritance Ceremony on Sora to contrast Terra performing the Inheritance Ceremony on Riku in Birth by Sleep. Now, obviously they didn't play the game. Aqua was considering making Sora her successor but since that Riku already was made a successor by Terra and decided against it so that Sora and Riku wouldn't clash Keyblades. Evidently, Kairi accidentally became Aqua's successor during her visit in Radiant Garden. Xion is not a nobody. Now this one is a bit understandable for confusion if you didn't play the game. Xion is not a nobody, rather an imperfect replica of Sora made by Vexen from Roxas's leaked memories as a failsafe if Sora and Roxas prove useless to the organization. Xion's real name is Number I or Number Iota from the Greek alphabet, which was her tag in the replica program. True nobodies cannot wield Keyblades. Now what I mean by this is that beings that truly have no heart cannot wield Keyblades. Keyblades can only be wielded by those with hearts and strong ones for that matter. So newly born nobodies cannot wield. However, as revealed in Dream Drop Distance, nobodies can grow hearts over time to replace their lost ones and hypothetically can wield Keyblades at that point. Roxas and Xion can both wield from the beginning because Roxas was housing Ventus's heart at the time of his birth, and Xion, being a replica and not a nobody, had a replica heart in order for her to wield a Keyblade. In an interview with Tetsuya Nomura, it was hinted that Xemnas had the ability to brandish Master Xehanort's Keyblade at any time, but simply preferred not to. This is strengthened by the fact that Xemnas used Master Xehanort's Keyblade armor in Kingdom Hearts 2. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something, but of course if you didn't, then great for you. You really know your Kingdom Hearts facts or Kingdom Hearts misconceptions. And if this video does great, I'll do another 5 Kingdom Hearts misconceptions. I mean, why not, right? So if you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, favorite, all that good jazz. It'll really help me out a lot and thank you so much for your support. And don't forget to support HMK by subscribing. Hit that subscribe button somewhere, anywhere. So, until the next video, I've been HMK. Keep it up with the Kingdom Hearts facts and keep it here on this channel for Kingdom Hearts facts, news, reviews, and...